Hello everyone, I'm Captain Devil Sony and today I'm flying with my first officer Ira once again. Hi Ira. Hi. So today we will be discussing about uh, ND which is called navigation display. So Ira as the name suggests, uh, ND uh, which is called navigation display is used for navigation purpose. Okay. So this screen is used to navigate. Now what does navigate means? Let's say if you're going from point A to point B like what heading or what direction, you know, or how will you go to on that route, all those information will be displayed on this navigation display. Okay. So from the from the captain's view, this PFD will be on the left and ND will be on the right. That's going to be different for you on the first officer side. All right. Um, because PFD is, you know, um, is more important in terms of flying. Okay, so that's why, you know, I mean, it is kept exactly in front of the, you know, person setting. Okay, even in your case also, PFD is exact in front of you. All right. So there are a few things which is uh, displayed uh, on the navigation display. One is, one thing is, uh, if you can see here, it is written GS267. Okay, so it has GS means ground speed. Okay, now, um, and then next is TAS266. Okay, which is called true airspeed. Now, what is the difference? So, true airspeed means um, what is the airspeed of an aircraft in the air? Okay, or with respect to the air. Okay, so let's say an aircraft is moving like this. Okay, so what is the speed of an aircraft in the air? Okay, now what is ground speed? Okay, so let's say if you are experiencing a headwind. Okay, so let's say your TAS is, uh, let's say, 200 knots, but you are experiencing a headwind of, let's say, 20 knots. So this this wind is actually pushing or not, you know, um, it's creating a resistance to this the speed of this aircraft. So the speed of the aircraft with respect to the ground surface will be reduced due to headwind. Okay. And, and... And opposite will happen when the when the wind is pushing from the from the back, which is called tailwind. Okay, so when you're experiencing headwind, your ground speed will reduce, and when you're experiencing tailwind, your ground speed will be faster or will increase. So this is ground speed indication is the speed of the aircraft with respect to the ground surface. All right. So you know, I mean, uh, you might have you know, I mean, flown uh, many of the times, and you might have observed like when I came from Delhi to Pune, it took me a shorter time. But I don't know, and uh, going from Pune to uh, you know Delhi, it took me a longer time. So sometimes it's because of the headwind. You know, I mean, when we fly from Delhi to Kolkata in space, uh, uh, specifically in winters, we got strong tailwind and we reach uh, you know Kolkata very faster. But opposite happens when we come back from Kolkata to Delhi. All right, because of the strong headwind being experienced from Kolkata to Delhi. All right. Then uh, here you get the winds. Currently it is showing 0000. So it means it is the wind direction. And this is the wind speed. Okay. Like from which direction the wind is coming from. And what is the wind speed. Okay. So this is called wind velocity. All right. First is wind direction. And the slash next is wind speed. Okay. okay. Direction. direction is means it's coming from which direction? It is coming from north, it is coming from east, it is coming from west, or exactly what direction it is coming from. Okay. Okay. Right now it is coming from 000, it means it is coming from north. Okay. 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 Here at this point, if you can see Juliet Juliet Papa, okay, this is actually a Jaipur VOR, that's my hometown. And um, so this this is showing your next waypoint means what is in your box which is called mcdu what is the next waypoint so let's say if you're going from delhi to jaipur so, or uh, and so basically or uh, it is showing you the distance to the next waypoint okay so in this case it is showing juliet juliet papa vor and 242 bearing it means the juliet papa vor is is on what direction Okay. okay, and this shows the distance 210 219 nautical mile. Means the, uh, from your current position, Juliet Juliet Papa VR is 219 nautical mile. I'm here from you, and it will take this much of time, okay, to reach that Juliet Juliet Papa. Okay, here it is shown what VR, okay, 
uh, we are a basically navigation aids they send signals and the aircraft have viewer receivers they receive those signals they catch those signals and fly using those signals so let's say if you're going from delhi to um, delhi to bengaluru so how do you fly so we get a lot of navigation signals and we using those signals we fly from point a to point b okay so these are the viewer delta papa november delta papa november it shows what are the distance of uh, you know these viewer so it is showing 130 nautical mile means from your current position era this delta papa number is 130 nautical mile okay, okay. and i have tuned the same viewer here also it shows 130 nautical mile from the current position you can tune you can tune to two different viewer stations also okay so let's say for example if i tune juliet juliet papa here which is a jaipur viewer if you see see it is changes juliet papa sorry okay so if you can see it is showing 224 nautical mile and here also showing 224 nautical mile okay, okay. got that and um, as we have learned that the heading is also been shown on the pfd the same heading if you can see it is shown on the nd as well nd i mean this heading 090 and 090 here okay and lot many other informations are also available on nd we can see you know um, rose viewer rose ils and then arc mode and then plan mode and this will be discussed maybe in the upcoming sessions but as of now i think it is uh, this was the basic of sandy and i think it was good to go and um, so ira where do you want to go today uh pune yes yeah, so let's go to so uh, ira any doubts so far in the nd no not really uh so uh the thing that you explained over here and yes that was basically uh like upstream downstream like yes like yes yes you can say so yes absolutely you know so you can you can uh, you know i mean um, learn like this when the wind is pushing from behind or it's like when you are riding a bicycle when the wind is coming from back it becomes easier you know you feel less tired when you reach home right so that's why your ground speed also increases you know during that time so this is ground speed and this is stats right okay anything else no i think that's okay uh, thank you for watching this and um, i hope enjoy flying with ira my first officer today and uh, in case if you have any doubts in case if you want anything particular topic you want to incorporate in our videos please comment down and thank you for watching thank you i am captain devil soni thanks mm -hmm.